Hello everybody, once again. I feel like I've recorded so many videos today. So many intros. Welcome back to Rome 2. Uh, if you've been watching, I don't know what order I've uploaded them in, but if the Brigantes campaign went up first, you'll know by now that I failed. If it's not gone up, then I've just spoiled the ending. Sorry about that. But yeah, that one didn't go so well. So this is now the Rome 2 campaign. This is my Rome 2 campaign. This is my future. This is my livelihood. So, I'm hoping this one goes better. Uh, when we left off last time, it was just upgrading the cities a little bit. Uh, we just started trading with a few people. Basically trading with everyone who hates Rome. Because they're at war, I'm at war with them. So, I'm still unsure about whether I want to trade with them or not. Because they don't, they don't hate me, which is good. And they don't really like them much. And I don't think either of them really like the ones above them. But I, I could do with that region. It gives a bit of breathing space between me and Rome. If Rome decide they want our minimum of Edithari, if they want to complete Italia, then at least then I'll have Italia, not Hitalia. Not the not the enemy. Before anyone gets confused. I could do really do with uh, I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that after the last few episodes. Cisalpina. Cisalpina, there we go. Good enough. Towards sort of northern Italy and into the Alps. Uh and this city's just always gonna be miserable. I don't really want to make a garrison there because I don't have enough to afford two armies at the moment. I want to focus on this one. So, can't really hire any mercenaries, can we? No. That's a bit of a problem at the moment. Is we're just, we've just got such weak, weak troops that we just can't think. If I had a couple of stronger units, then I'd, I'd just go for Rome. I'd just risk it all. Take Rome. And easily defensible because it's such a big city. But that's the problem. It's easily defensible. It's a great location to have, but you have to take it first. So either I'm going to have to wait until I've got better units, or just try and take it by force and just... Well, by force. By force I mean just get a huge army of weak troops and just charge them all in. Which I don't really want to do, because that's going to cost me a lot of units. Um, so we've now got some extra food. Should I keep upgrading that, or should I get a... No, I'm going to upgrade the city so we've got a bit more garrison. Especially Velathari, because they're probably most vulnerable because they haven't got a port. Whereas soon they will have a port and a and a um, field of Mars, so they'll have even more uh, um, garrison. So pretty soon our minium's not going to be really much of a worry for me now, unless they bring a, a full stack army, which I doubt they have yet. If I stop taxing you, will you be, will you be happier? Yes, you will. There we go. And okay. I've just seen how much food they produce. Uh, we can leave it like that for now. Until their uh, consecrated ground is at a level where they're happy enough. I forgot to hire any troops, didn't I? I don't have enough money anyway, so that's alright. And they're bringing up an army. Uh, why did I not expect that earlier? Um, so I'm going to have to quickly get some mercenaries in and do my best to defend. I don't know how well I'll be able to defend, but if I've got some cavalry, then that's an advantage, because although their infantry is, is superb cavalry always makes a difference, especially against sword infantry so, and it's pretty good cavalry as well um, although I think they can get there in one t well if I can get to Rome in one turn then they can certainly get to me in one turn so this turn is all about okay I can only get one unit of cavalry but that's better than none and then just spearmen that's, that's all I can get at the moment, and that's all I need. I just need not to lose this city. Oh, and suddenly they're unhappy again. Why? Why are you unhappy again? Stop this. Stop this right now. Right this second. Uh, so that's going to take five turns. I think I'm going to have to wait for that to finish before I think about progressing anywhere. 12 stack versus 10 stack plus... Seven Italian spearmen. Well, Italian spearmen is what I'm using at the moment, and I'll have some slingers, and I've got some cavalry. So, arguably, yes, I could hold it. And I'm defending, so I might have some deployables. If they bring up with two armies, though, then I'm absolutely. Oh dear! It's it's the brigantes all over again. Stati. Vel. Leves. This is a very basic army. That's 
the only advantage I have at the moment. Now I've got slingers, so I do outrange them. But they outnumber me. I say no matter what I do, I'm going to lose. Yep, this is going to be the Brigantes campaign all over again. I'm predicting it now. It'll be over in six turns. It won't though, because the advantage here I have is that I've got a, I've got a city on an island, which instantly gives me the advantage. It's going to take them. It's going to be quite hard for them to get there. With this one, I'm just going to have to use the spearmen to hold them off. Cavalry in the back, that old tactic. They've only got two units of cavalry, but I think they have the same type of cavalry as me. So um, I'm going to have just I'm going to have to leave the cavalry for the spearmen and just t just go for the infantry. That's it's Rome's biggest advantage is its infantry, so if you can get rid of that, you can get rid of anything. I think that's what I really enjoy about this game. You know, the old one had... It, it, it didn't really give you the option to experiment. This one, it gives you, you know, you can, even as Rome, you can either go with mainly spearmen or mainly infantry. But there's obvious advantages. You know, the Hastati and the Principes are top-level infantry. They're almost unstoppable early game, if you get good ones. Um, where are they attacking from? Over here. Uh, I do have deployables, which is instantly good. It's very good. So, I think this is going to be the hill to defend. So if we put barricades across there. Obviously they can break down barricades, but generally they'll just try and find a way around. Put barricades there and barricades across the main entrance, like that. Force them down this little side street, these little side streets. I don't think they can get up through there. So they'd have to go up this way. Put that there. That's going to force them up, hopefully. Unless they go round. No, because I put a barricade there. I can't move it, can I? Damn it. So, I ah, keep doing that. Stop it. So then it's just uh, spike traps there. Some them in front, in between, there, and there. Cavalry can run out back here, so general. these, just Italian cavalry. Not the best, obviously, but they were cheap. That's what I need. I'm going to have one unit here, just in case. And then it's just going to be a case of protecting what I have. So I have them in a double line like that. Because if, if 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 I'm right and they have to come this way, which is, where have I put the other spike traps? Have I messed this up already? Have I put one? Did I put all three? Oh, I, I was meant to put one up here. I'm such an idiot. Why am I sometimes? So let's have like that. Like that. I'll have the skirmishes behind there, like that. Let's have some mob there as well, just in case we need numbers. And the slingers shall be on this cliffside, like that. Hopefully, that should give them some decent. Ra wow, that's not even decent range. That's incredible range. Um. All right, so I'm going to put these in a formation group. I'll put these in a selection group. I'm going to put them in a selection group. I'm going to put him on his group as it, just so he doesn't feel left out, like he's not in a group. Right, then we get Italian straight away, nobles. start battle, into the, into the trees. The Keep going up this hill, let them march on us. Enemy reinforcements Forgot about them, didn't I? You absolute. I'm just going to keep offending myself during this. I'm still hoping that it does seem like they're going... Are they just going to run straight through my barricade? They are, aren't they? Alright, so I'm going to shift these this way. 
remember I always loved taking this as, as Rome. Because you can just sit on this hill with uh, levees and whatever else, if you've got any slingers you can use them. And then just let your infantry march on it. Oh no, they're going that way. Yes! We are being shuffled towards them. It does mean these cavalry have to get a move on. Men of Italia. Is that cavalry? It is. Right, drop one of these back. Italian spearmen. Quickly. March. Spears ready. You're gonna have to hold it on your own, I'm afraid. At the double. Where are they off to? Where are you off to? Italian Bring these spearmen. back. I've messed, I've messed it up a bit. Because I forgot to check where they're gonna. Are they? Why are they attacking that barricade? There's absolutely no reason for that. Although it does. No, because the infantry is still gonna end up running through all these spike traps. So. If that cavalry gets a move on, if we could. Oh, they're Triare. Oh, damn it. Their general's gonna be difficult to take out. If he was just a Hastati unit or something, then I'd be in luck, but. No. That's gonna be all difficult, don't you? Right, so they should be able to fire soon, which is good. Are you going to fire? They're in range. Come on, man up on the hill and fire. So just keep running them round. To there. That's what I thought was going to happen. They was completely ignored. Defences. Italia. Italian but if they engage these, ah ha, ha 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 ha, they're going to run straight through the spike traps. Oh wow, that's bigger than I thought. They kind of focused on one army. Pause it quickly. No, I've messed this up. I have to move this unit back. Rapid advance. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Got to get there, otherwise, we're going to lose all our men. Nope, you've messed that up. Why aren't you in the position I told you to be? Well, he was stupid and ran straight to Spearman with his cavalry. Even if it is General's bodyguard. Wait, have the numbers been... Oh, I think I've messed it up with the... Uh, unit of... Oh, there's a Spearman. What are you doing? You absolutely don't right, They're taking up losses which I don't need right now. In. Why not? Where are you two off to? Need you back here, mate. Right, line these guys up. It's the next line of attack. I didn't even notice that. Really need to get round to their velites because they're costing me a lot of units. I had a chance to then, but I moved these the wrong way. I've right, got to help out those spearmen now. So, start charging these guys this way. The only advantage now is they're so preoccupied with where my cavalry is going to be. They're not really paying attention to... Anything else One of our that. units has used all its ammunition. Great. Just charge that Hastati unit. Italian cavalry. Why not? As 
Pull back. The men are wavering. Which men? Which men are wavering? I have seriously messed this up. I apologise greatly for my stupidity. Didn't even realise how surrounded they were getting. The AI have been very clever here. They've not let me actually get in anywhere. They've held strong. Although it doesn't help that these spearmen don't actually seem to be marching where I'm telling them to. Right, break through those Hastati. I don't know how these spears haven't taken out his general yet, that's quite annoying. But luckily, I have like, double lines, come on. Or just not do. Our men flee the field of battle! This is, this is a shameful display. Rather annoying. Because really I need to take that general out. And I've lost half my army now already from withdrawing. Because my spearmen are apparently useless. So kill their general. Our men flee the field of battle. He's run straight into this a bunch a of levies and velites. It's a good move actually. Their general's not very happy at the moment. Italian cavalry! Break the Engage! them up. Right, I'm going to have to move these back. By your command. Take aim at speed. At speed. Italian cavalry waiting. So as you can see, just then, he just put his spearmen right like that so my cavalry couldn't get a charge in. But now he's moved them away. I'm going to quickly try and sneak through. If I can get past them, then I'm fast enough to avoid them completely. So a bit of micromanagement. I know he's going to charge straight without the static. But if I can even get a slight hit on the back. See what a charge in the back. Oh, no, that's a general. I was going to say, you can see what a charge in the back does, but he only had two men anyway, so. This is a terrible display of tactics by me. An entire unit has perished. Right, forget them. Pull away from them. Line up behind them and then charge in the back. Hopefully these spearmen can hold them off long enough. They're going straight for the capture point, aren't they? Of course they are. They're not idiots. Well, they are, because they've left their rear completely open to cavalry. In we go. A bit too close there. My computer did not like that. See? All of, all of them a bit shaken, a bit worried now. Italian noble cavalry. If I can get a mass route, even if they just pull back for a bit, I can turn, defeat these, line back up, and now they're running away straight into... Um, they're just running straight into my cavalry, which is, so they're getting even more kills. Starty, I'm not too worried about charging into a cavalry. Didn't see them, did I? Just a couple of minutes back there. Just the rest to... Just the rest to keep the Hastati busy while the... Um, gen general! Go on, chase them down. Make sure they don't return. So actually, I managed to turn it around a bit, even though I made a lot of mistakes. 
my, mis my main mistake was that I, I focused so much attention on this little army. And I, f I kind of actually did forget about the reinforcements, basically. And I didn't realize where they were going to be. Our general has fallen! <sighs> That's the problem. The problem with men, they die. Where are you going? Go help your brothers. So I've lost the general, but we've still got some cavalry so we can charge them in the back of these to start to. And then it's just a general, I think. So it wasn't this hasn't again, this hasn't been a great battle, it's not gonna be a great victory. This cavalry is really getting on my nerves. In fact, all of them are, they're not really listening to me at the moment. A couple of cavalry in the back. Morale's dropping already. And then once we get them done, we can turn around and attack the uh, general unit in the back. Those those spearmen have returned, but and once the general, once we attack the general unit, if we can get him around, here, I think the whole army might go for, go do a runner. Both the armies actually, it's two armies I've just defeated, which is quite nice. Everything else attack there. Oh, except you. You were going that way. The enemy general is dead. Nice. Took out one of their generals. It's a problem with Rome 2 compared to Rome, where taking out a general doesn't actually do much, make much difference in this game. Whereas in Rome, you targeted the general because you knew if he left, he was gone. Then that was it. He was gone from the whole map. They couldn't just. They'd have to wait until they can bring another general up. Before they could hire mercenaries or anything like that. And we've won! We've won the battle. Victory. Uh, end battle. It was a costly victory, yes, but we were outnumbered by better troops. And despite my mistakes, managed to win it back in the end. The cavalry charge was good in the back there. That kind of demonstrates a key tactic of Rome, which is the hammer and anvil tactic, which if you played if you've played any Rome, if you've only played any Total War game really, except for sort of Empire and stuff like that, and Shogun 2, that's the best tactic. It's infantry or spearmen, hold their infantry or spearmen, cavalry around the back, straight through the back. It ruins morale, and then as they try and flee, they're just running into cavalry. It's better with more than one unit because you can sort of get all of the units at once with the cavalry. With just the general unit, I could only attack one at a time. But it worked, got there. And that's what I was talking about before, neutralising their infantry. Because once that infantry fled, it was a bunch of levies and a couple of uh, spearmen, which weren't too hard to defeat. My Italian spearmen could beat their Roari, so... Animation went a bit wrong there, didn't it? So we've actually killed one army, which is very good, and nearly just completely destroyed another one. And we did lose a few units, but... Going to release them because I'm a nice person at heart, really. Honest. <laughs>